and experienced performers in the biz. Yeah, you take it! Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Using any stage they can find. Putting on the classiest acts they can muster. It's not sexy as much as it is mildly epileptic. <laughs> All in front of the toughest critics in town. Gross. Gross, gross, disgusting, gross. Plus, a showdown of epic proportions. Doopsie, doopsie! It's True TV presents World's Dumbest Performers. And it starts now. It's the Porn Star Punch-Out, featuring some of the newest performers in the adult entertainment industry. This show is a big hit with my family. We watch it every year on Christmas Eve. <laughs> God, Ron Jeremy looks great, doesn't he? Boy, a life of sex. Mm, does wonders for a man's hair. Welcome the stack cards are great. Height, weight, and favorite sexual position. Oh, God, I also love boxing doggy style. It's so hard, you have to throw the punches like that, but at the same time, you feel so sexy. You know, it was like, literally they were playing a minute, and then one got a good shot in, and he still was like, oh, hell no. Next thing you know, someone's going to get that pretty little porn face all messed up. One more round. Since this is a series of exhibition matches, there is no overall winner, but there are plenty of losers. Get the <laughs> on the road. This is one case where the cage was really for the girls' protection. Let's go! Because there's about a couple hundred guys with boners like, yeah, you do that Did anyone have problems with the porn stars just doing what they do? Is anyone like watching a porn and just like, you know, I wish they would stop doing it and just punch for a while. Organizers of this Halloween party wanted an expert fire eater to perform for their guests. So they placed an ad online. Whenever I search for performers on the internet, uh, I get the cream of the crop. This guy eats fire like I eat ribs. Sloppy. Face went up like a marshmallow. It was priceless. Anybody got any aloe vera lotion? My face. Do we need to pay extra for that? You can't scrimp on the fire eater. You got to get a professional. Otherwise, that's what happens. They light their face on fire. That's kind of actually entertaining. The failed fire eater is treated for minor burns at a nearby hospital. But lives to blow another day. And now, a helpful tip from the always safety conscious Fire Marshal Garrett. When eating fire, remember to pair it with an appropriate wine. 
Nothing washes down the flames like a finely aged Syrah. This is the Cool Jew Rock Music Festival in Finland, also known as the world's lamest music festival. what Finland's listening to right now, but it ain't that. One band member of the metal band Mia Moore is determined to provide an arena-worthy performance. Oh. Oh. You know, I find that diving into a crowd is best done with a crowd. Oh. Need a packed house. You need a standing room only, not five people who just happen to be standing. Oh, stage time to us! Stage time! Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I, I thought you, I thought you, you didn't get him? Oh, sorry, Hans. A stage dive is being Superman. But no, this guy goes, hey, woo, feet first, woo-hoo! Woo-hoo! Jumping Jack Flash suffers minor back pain and a severely bruised ego. This is yet another example of why I never hang out in groups or ever around other people. Here I come! <laughs> because you cannot trust a soul. Coming up. Let me see, let me see. A subway dance you won't want to miss. If that's the pole that she gets germs from, I will sincerely be shocked. Plus, a reasonably simple task turned dumb and dangerous. Does this cost more or less than a regular shave? And... You know, that is someone who truly loves their art. When the world's dumbest performers continues. At the annual Dance Hall Queen competition in Baltimore, performers vie for prizes like $1,500 in cash and an all-expenses-paid trip to Jamaica. Please, I'm a no more! Contestant Mad Dancer tries to wow the judges with a move known as the Duddy Wine. <laughs> This dance move she's trying, it's not sexy as much as it is mildly epileptic. We have a winner! Help me! Somebody? Did I win? Pick her up like they're picking a rabbit out of a magician's hat. Okay, and you're back. I guess not that surprisingly, after a massive head injury, you're actually better at the Duddy Wine. The judges are so impressed, they crown Mad Dancer Queen of the Dance Hall. about her day, okay? She fell behind the stage, then someone poured champagne in her eye. Congratulations! Yeah, I'm still burning. Ah. Turkish barber Ishmael Akbaba has turned the old-fashioned art of straight razor shaving into cutting-edge performance art. Mm -hmm. 
Does this cost more or less than a regular shave? Okay, my friend. Don't move. It's okay. Relax. Get off the ball, okay? Hold the razor in your hand like a proper barber. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Can you imagine? Ishmael is always looking for a way to get a leg up on the competition. What the, what the name of... I hope he doesn't get a Charlie horse in the middle of that. Easy for him. Normal. You know when a close shave requires an ambulance? What the f***? What the? Are we done yet, Ismail? Finish? Finish? Take note. Uh, the barber himself is unshaven. What does that tell you? I can do all kinds of performances. I've already shaved a horse with my mouth. Why does a horse need to be shaved? I got shaved. Don't even talk about it. Worst night of my life. <laughs> like any great artist, Ishmael yearns to someday elevate his craft to soaring new heights. If I had the chance, I'd love to shave someone while parachuting. Ishmael, look at me. You're a barber. That's it. Thank you, Ismael. Next time, I'll shave you on an ostrich. Bye-bye, Ismael. No, now you got the sideburns messed up. Get, get this one. Attaboy. Good work, kid. Chile is one of the most conservative countries in South America. But this performer is determined to shake up the status quo by bringing her act to the Santiago subway system. This young woman is taking on the prudishness of Chilean society. Talk about courage. Dubbed the goddess of the metro, she refuses tips for her subterranean performances. This might be the first pro bono stripper I've ever seen. Okay, if you insist, I will help you here. Take out the pants of the woman, if I must. You know he's just thinking like, oh, thank God, I lived 80 years just waiting for this moment. She could have at least wiped the pole with a baby wipe before she slid all on it. If that's the pole that she gets germs from, I will sincerely be shocked. Man, they must be super conservative. Because there's like 150 cameramen following around. Oh my god, did you hear about it? There's a stripper on the subway car. Get the camera, get the camera. We're all going, we're all going. There's just so many men out there who care about freedom of speech and freedom of expression. Okay, okay. That's inspiring. Flush with admirers, the goddess decides to take her act above ground. But when she starts disrobing outside the presidential palace, police bring the curtain down on her performance. She's coming with us. What was she arrested for? She wasn't naked. She was just enjoying the poll. They're reacting like they just caught the number two of Al Jazeera. Actually, Kevin, Al Jazeera is a highly regarded TV news organization. I believe the term you're looking for is Al Qaeda. OK. The stripper is coming with us. In the van. Back off from the stripper, OK? She's under arrest. Chili, lighten up. It's ass. You're not going to die. It's cute. Tin Patch is known to the art world as Picasso. Oh, there. Yeah. That's nice. What makes Tim stand out among his peers is the tool he chooses to paint with. Let's stretch it out there. Uh, this brush needs cleaning, don't it? Little mustache stroke there. Nice red lips. Oh, I'm really feeling it on this one here. You know, this artist is a real dick. <laughs> Today, Tim is doing his performance art at the Sex Trade Show in Sydney, Australia. 
Nice long stroke here. And a bunch of quick little strokes here. Yeah, that's nice. A little bit of blue there. Now that's a musket here, huh? Yeah. What do you do when you all, all of a sudden you get excited? You know? Now are you a pointillist? <laughs> point, 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 point. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, this is a sexy painting, isn't it? Picasso first discovered his talent on a dare at a friend's party. That's a faux pas at any party I throw. As soon as a guy starts painting with his wang, I'm like, no, that's your cut off. Wow, you're painting with your. Can I get a. Can I get a mountain range and uh, maybe some birds? Yeah. He would be great at Six Flags doing the caricatures. Like, hey, you like to play tennis? Look at you, your head's all big. <laughs> Enjoy that. Take that with you. Painting with my. Let's see if I can reach this up here. Now let's go over there. You know, despite the fact he doesn't have a whole lot to work with, guy's doing pretty good. Dude painted a hell of a painting with his. Picasso's works average about two hundred dollars a canvas. Or for the same price, you could just light two hundred dollars on fire and not have paint that was on someone's in your house. World's dumbest commissioned Picasso to paint a portrait of one of our own. Find out who gets the penis painting later in the show. Coming up. This is exactly what it would look and sound like if Hitler had a sketch comedy troupe. Plus. Sometimes it's better to pass out than ruin the song. And later. Mama. Mommy. I was doing fake athletics and I broke everything. When the world's dumbest performers continues. It's Fire Prevention Week in Istanbul. And the city's fire chief plans to demonstrate how to safely and quickly extinguish a blaze. Why do you have to demonstrate with a fire? How about giving out a pamphlet? And that's it. You read the pamphlet, and that's the end of it. The eager lieutenant goes to ignite a second fire when suddenly. Another fire prevention tip. Don't throw fireballs at crowds of people like you're in Street Fighter 2. That's going to lead to less fire safety. This guy should have just known. Drop to the ground and let everybody just hose you. <laughs> you take it. Okay. That's us. One dude is like surrounded by four fire extinguishers. Like, ah, what do we do? That's us. Quick, quick, everybody panic. It's okay, Chief. I put out the fire on your crotch. Did you see the way the fire attached to that man's crotch? He's got a smoking gun. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. It's okay. Calm down. Calm down. I have had worse things in my crotch than fire. Okay. Start from the beginning. Okay, we're good to go. We can continue. Uh, my balls are still here. No one is hurt in the uncontrolled burn, though the fire department's credibility goes up in flames. I feel like this is exactly what it would look and sound like if Hitler had a sketch comedy troupe. Live from Berlin, it's the Fiora's favorite comedy show. Quick, give me a person and an occupation on the funny city name. It'll be funny. World's Dumbest has never shied away from broadcasting shocking and outrageous footage. But this next performance is undoubtedly the most disturbing clip ever to air on True TV. Please, producers, I'm begging you don't show this video. Gross, gross, disgusting, gross. Um, is, is it weird that I have a boner? 
It's a male-only striptease class in Sydney, Australia. And if you sign up now, we'll add the creepiness for free. Ooh. <laughs> Hello, mate. Ooh. Yeah. Crikey. From what I'm told, these men are trying to redefine the image of the Australian macho man. Oh, you like what you see there? I can only say, mission accomplished. Now this teacher is supposedly a stripper. I want to say ex-stripper. Oh, I feel sexy. Is this the way you do it, teach? Yes, yes. Yeah. My teacher's dirty, isn't she? These guys are doing the creepiest moves, and she's like, yeah, that's it, that's it, yeah, that's it. No, that is not it. First I looked at them and I go, God, you're really fat and hairy and ugly, but then, once they started doing their moves, I could see how the class would really work. Ah, uh, is this sexy, Teach? Like this here? Teach? In San Diego, the Mount Carmel High School Jazz Band closes their recital with a final flourish from the lead trumpet player. Boy, uh, this song has killed more trumpet players. When you're holding a note, sometimes it's better to pass out than ruin the song. The timing was great, though. The dude fainted on beat. I blame the conductor. He made him hold that note too long. Hold that note till I say so, soldier. After the concert's season-stirring conclusion, the marching band takes to the field to rehearse for the halftime show. Cut! Trombone's dropped again. Don't mind. Can somebody teach the trombone players to walk properly? Trombone's going backwards. Are you high? Watch it. Oh, trombone. Get off me. Get off me, jerk. The no hand-eye coordination. Your feet are all messed up. They've already got that to worry about. You might as well let them march forward. You look at the formation. It doesn't make the picture different. Maybe they ought to spend some more money on the sports programs in the school in San Diego and drop the man. No students were injured in either incident. But public outrage led school officials to call a press conference. Okay, everybody, I'm ready to field your questions. In the back. Have you considered uh, finding some room in the budget for crash helmets? Those kids get bullied enough. Next. Have you been having a problem with the trombone section all year long? Because we've been hearing rumors in the press about uh, bad blood. And I've got a follow-up, if I may. I won't comment on rumors. Your follow-up? My follow-up is... Why did they always have clean clothes on Gilligan's Island? You know what? No further questions. I just wanted to know that. Coming up. I don't have balls, and my balls hurt watching that. Plus, treadmill dancing gone horribly wrong. So, oh, this thing just teaches him a lesson like nobody's business. Oh. And angst-filled rockers refuse to let it be. Do you think this band wrote down, like, whiny bitching on their set list? When the world's dumbest performers continues. Want more info on the show? Yeah! Follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash world's dumbest for exclusive behind-the-scenes updates about and from your favorite cast members. Aside from being charming, a great mascot must be energetic, Woo! athletic, and agile. Oh, no! Oh, 
Oh, that's so funny, but oh, God. I don't have balls, and my balls hurt watching that. Oh. Dude, I have so much pain. I have so much pain. Oh, good. Oh, no, no, it's gold. The crowd was like, ah. The crowd was cheering that he hit his testicles. You know they're watching a game that's not so good when the crowd's best reaction is to a guy getting rochambeaued by a railing. had a pep in his step, though. He got right back up and said, hey, I'm still gonna be annoying. Don't worry, everybody. Beat him, Mascar, go! Lay it down, man. This is Ramon. He's in his California home, about to perform a dance routine while his brother provides some fresh beats. Yo, play that beat. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Huh. You feel me? Yo, check this out. Ooh. Oh, damn. What's up? Ooh. Damn. Shoot. Come on. <laughs> A little more time working out on the treadmill might have made the difference here. Yo, here we go. Yeah. What's up? Special move. One, two. Oh. Shoot, man. Shoot. Dude, this thing just teaches him a lesson like nobody's business, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, you got served. <laughs> Yo, man, what you laughing like at, man? Yo, I feel like... Dance off the pain. Dance off the pain. Just break in. I got it. No humiliation. I got it. Special move. Oh, oh. Don't wear your sneakers. Wear your little sandals. You're going to jump on a treadmill that's going 45 miles an hour. You don't want something that's going to stay on your feet. Check this out. Ooh. Damn. <laughs> Not only was this guy terrific on the treadmill, I love what he's done with the place. Yo, we got to get some pictures for this place, too. Special move. Ooh. Ramon's plans for a rowing machine ballet are currently on hold. It's always rough when you see someone set their goals really, really low and still fail. What's up? The Brian Jonestown Massacre is a California indie rock group. Tonight, they're playing the most important gig of their career, an industry showcase attended by a who's who of record execs. We have a lot of records. We've got six full-length albums this year. And that's why we're going to get the biggest record deal in history, because we're smart. If you have to tell people how smart you are, chances are you will one day appear on this show. Midway through the set, lead singer Anton Newcomb berates his guitarist for giving a shoddy performance. <laughs> Do you think this band wrote down, like, why need bitching on their set list? You just can't find a decent maraca player anymore, can you? Is you get famous, then you get to act like an broke my sitar, There are two words you often don't hear together: sitar and mother. You okay, man? Yeah, I'm okay. Did you get hurt? Is that blood on you? Yeah. From where? From Your people's hand. faces. One of my pet peeves is getting people's face blood on me. So I, my heart goes out. Thanks to their onstage antics, the band goes unsigned that night. The interesting thing is the Brian Jonestown Massacre did actually release a live album of this gig. Uh, there are no songs, uh, but it has developed a, a, a cult following, so to speak. Broke my sitar, my Coming up, 
an actress portraying Helen Keller takes leave of her senses. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus, find out which member of our cast is Picasso's latest subject. And later... Boobs are for two things. For when you have children and to look good. When the world's dumbest performers continues. Good evening. I am Konstantin Stanislavski, world-renowned acting teacher and author of An Actor Prepares. Or am I? Behold, it is Daniel Baldwin, and what you just witnessed was the power of acting. Oh! Actors, pay attention to the stage direction. The slightest misstep can thwart your performance. Watch what happens to this actress playing Helen Keller in a Newton, Massachusetts production of The Miracle Worker. Remember, one must look and listen even when portraying a deaf, dumb, and blind girl. It takes incredible concentration to assume the identity of another. This is why the set should always be free of outside distractions. And action! Cut! Cut! <gasps> Such folly, as the bard wrote. Our next performer utilizes a prop to take his act to the next level. Uh, is this <laughs> This modern Pagliacci is forced to end his show less than 10 seconds in. The audience is sent home unhappy, and with yet another reason to hate clowns. And with that, the curtain falls on this masterclass. Heed this advice, and I guarantee your next role will be your big... Line... Break. Break. British reporter Daisy Gray is on assignment at the opening of a new skating rink at London's historic Somerset House. Somerset House really is spectacularly beautiful. And there's even a full bar. Although the combination of mild wine and ice is probably potentially pretty dangerous. Especially if you're as rubbish at skating as I am. Oh, oh my God! Oh, oh my God! And the Pulitzer for this kind of thing goes to this woman. My name's Daisy. I'm better in the spring. You need to not look like a baby eagle trying to fly because what happens to them when they fall out of the nest, they end up on their butt. You're not helping. Daisy, I'll give you some lessons. Call me. Especially if you're as rubbish at skating as I am. Oh, oh my God. Lady Grey, London Today, Somerset House. She still managed to sign off of her newscast. Daisy Gray, London Today, Somerset House. Yes, Daisy Gray, ice is slippery. And that's our news quote for today. <laughs> Christmas night in Quebec, Canada. A young man films himself while playing a bowling video game on his brand new $2,000 flat screen TV. This is the saddest Christmas I've ever seen. Oh. 
excuse me. You idiot! He was like, I'm gonna get that strike. I'm gonna get the dead. Oh. Hey, you know where that's not gonna happen? In a bowling alley. Oh. Mama! It's such a surprise that he lives at home. I didn't I didn't see that coming. Mama! That's it. Smack the TV and call for your ma. You're a grown man. Mommy, I was doing fake athletics and I broke everything. Ma! Ma! I'm cooking! What? Ma, the TV's not working! Wait, what? I don't know! It just stopped working. I was playing my game. Did I have hard? Ma! Ma! Oh, Ma! The man's television screen is permanently marred. Mama! But still able to deliver high quality entertainment. I'm feeling more masculine by the minute. Yeah. Mama! You booed 19 terrible acts. But the dumbest performer of all is ready for a close-up. Find out who it is right after this. Hi, I'm Busty Hart, and I am going to slam my breasts into this brick, smashing it to little bricks in one blow. Oops. Busty Heart is, according to my notes, a big bust model, and I don't know how she got involved in that line of work, but I would say it suits her. That's a strong booby. Hey, are those things real? Are you ready? Whoa! Bam! And she's bailing with her boob. Those boobs are just, I mean, they should be registered as lethal weapons. I wonder if she bitches a lot during mammograms. Like, she's like, ow, ouch, ow. And the doctor's like, I've seen your work. It was hard work. You know what's hard work? The children in China who have to sew your bras all day long. You know what I do to perverts like you? Do you know? You're just a pervert! Really? He's the pervert? You're the one who drew the face on the watermelon and then hit it with your tit! Boobs are not supposed to be doing that type of a thing. Boobs are for two things. For when you have children and to look good. <laughs> Big deal. I could break more stuff than that with my How about some earmuffs? crush you under these things. What's worse, the pain in your back or the pain of losing to me? Danny, if this is your penis, guess what? Say goodnight, mother! Busty, I'm gonna crush this can just like this show has crushed any chance I had of making a comeback. <laughs> I know a girl in Tijuana will do this for a warm meal. Danny, look at this watermelon. It's just like your head, damn it. And I'm gonna smash it in. Yeah!
Hey, Busty, take a look. The head is mightier than the heart. Look, the last episode of Breaking Bada Duty. I admit it. I have been bested. Your Highness, I am not worthy. You're boo worthy oh, now! Hey, have some watermelons. Good. <laughs> not reality, actuality. <laughs> Judy Gold's got her own picture? That's... Uh, what? Wow. Okay. All right. Good penis work. That's insane. Oh, my God. They did it. That's insane. Oh, my God! Who did this? Is this John with someone's penis? And then he did the outside around your head with his butt cheeks. He did? Yeah, you can see his actual butt cheeks. This looks so much better than my van. Is this really a Picasso? Yeah, it's a, he sent it and he sent the video of him painting it. No way. Yeah, yeah, we have the video of him actually painting it. Did he do it for everyone? No, no, just you. You're lying. No, no, I swear to God. Ah!